Okay, so let's have a look at invoice processing now in Zahara. So why would you bring your supplier invoices into Zahara? Well, first of all, you might want to match them against purchase orders. And secondly, you can use our statuses to see if invoices are approved or out for approval, and you can match them against your orders. The other thing you can do is select invoices, for example, here, and export the data to CSV, uh, which currently we have a Sage 50 ready CSV format um, and we've got zero integration coming and a CSV or kind of export builder so you can build a CSV format for any other account system. So we have orders which we've raised and therefore we expect invoices to come in at some stage to match those orders. So if we take the one at the top easy direct it could be that we go into invoices and we click new invoice and we record that. So is this invoice for one or more orders in Zahara? Yes it is. And it will be the latest one which will be 59. Click next. And does this order fully match the invoice? Yes it does. So the only two missing pieces of information are actually the invoice number and the invoice date. So if I was to put an invoice number in for example and the invoice date choose today so May 31st and now I'll just drag over the PDF so I can archive it into Zahara as well click create and now on our invoice list I've got my easy direct invoice if I can go into it and if I want to I can retrieve it and pop up the PDF of it here which is the one I dragged over so that was very simple kind of invoice matching for an invoice that matches the actual order. So what happens when you get an invoice in that there's no order corresponding to it, so it's just a brand new invoice. You click new invoice. Is this invoice for one or more orders in Zahara? No, it's not. So let's record an invoice from, say, TNT. So I drag my invoice over. I can see here from my zoom that I can move around and get a, see some of the information relating to that invoice. So I can select my supplier from a drop down list, TNT UK, the invoice number 731-5250. I bet you're thinking, wouldn't it be nice if you could draw around that number? Well, we have another suite of software that does the OCRing. This is the kind of a very um, entry level manual keying of invoices. We can choose a date from the date picker due date will be set for 30 days um, we don't need to purchase order number and then we might want to put an ad hoc line item in so if we just say quantity of one description um, various shippings and the price I think it's 5885 yeah 5885 and it will be tax code T1 nominal code will be 5100 for shipping carriage and that's it. So if I click next, um, please approve. And I've got a default workflow set for invoice approval, which uh, I want to send it out to the buyer to make sure that he approves it. I click next and then I click create invoice. So first of all, the invoice is now on the list uh, and I can go into it. But also if I was the buyer, I would now have the email request asking me to approve the invoice so we need you to approve document type of invoice requested by click here to review it so I click into there and here's our invoice that we just keyed in from TNT we can see the date of the invoice the due date uh, which division it belongs to and I can say yeah I'm going to approve that that's all okay so if we now go back to invoices and our TNT invoice is now green ready for approval so that's a demonstration of our really simple invoice processing with approvals uh, facility that we've built into Zahara. So without any expensive workflow software, we can give you the opportunity of recording invoices, being able to export them um, into your account system and also sending them out to approval by email. So I hope that's been useful. And thanks for watching.